<coughs> okay, okay. So this one, uh, uh, this one, I, I, I say, uh, get the students involved. There are so many ways to do it. Okay. Uh, okay. Like, any any questions so far? Uh, you know, I don't want to run away. But like I said, ODL. If you can, if you can follow the whole story from the beginning, the fast food, the 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 the, the, the uh, face to face framework, uh, not, and then you, you can understand the ODL is just a way of doing things that you are not together. You are very flexible, very managerial, learning content, and then done in your own time in your own house anyway. So the all the assessment, assessment, all still the same. You have to figure out how to do the assessment in ODL. Misalnya, they have uh, learning centers, they have exam centers. So I don't know sure how you're going to do it. So uh, those are the mechanisms. Actually, in ODL. After we will look at uh, we will look at the MQA punya, uh, very quickly MQA punya document and what is uh, what is required. Uh, you are just putting everything that you do in writing. That's all. Okay, this one, this one. This is I share with you what I do. Uh, some of that I've done uh, by this learning, <coughs> some of that I do by face to face. <coughs> I ask after in, in my teaching, uh, not so much for the this learning, but more face to face. You can, we can, we, we can be done also now that you ask the student to create multiple choice questions after each lecture, uh, whether you want them to do individually or you break them up into groups of three or whatever. After each lecture, they have to they have to construct one or two multiple choice questions based on that lecture. Okay, and then they can send that to the Google 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 Group or Google Doc. Google Drive, I use a Drive. In fact, no, this kind of case normally you you up you elect one class monitor. The guy will collect everything and send it uh, the full folder to you and, and send it to your drive or send it to my Google Google Groups. Create Google Groups. I think it's okay. Can be done. You can even ask them to create multi frequently asked question. Uh, this is what I do. Based on that lecture, create one FAQ. You know? Because to create multiple questions, it's not easy, you know. You have to know what's wrong, what's right, and to do FAQ with, with feedback. So in doing that, they're subconsciously also already reading the content. Without you asking to say, please don't forget to revise. They have to revise, they have to read already to create their multiple choice question, to create their frequently asked question. I also have to them to do after three or four lectures, I ask them to create a 20 item crossword puzzle based on the last three lectures or you what you have you have you have gone through. This one also group work. And this one got price. Best crossword puzzle wins 100 ringgit, my money. Lah. You know, it, it can be done because uh, in, in fact, <laughs> in fact, my uh, one of my first uh, term uh, exam, the first question was a crossword, was in the form of a crossword puzzle. Who, the student nearly, nearly, nearly pingsan. That's the first time they saw a crossword puzzle as an exam question. Not exam question, the midterm. midterm. <laughs> and crossword puzzle is very simple. You go to the internet, you can type a free crossword puzzle generator okay then you know come out you 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 they, they have two columns uh, vertical column uh, horizontal column you put in the uh, uh, the, the answers okay you put in the answers and then they will generate the crossword view and then you put in the, the question based on where the answer appear the number 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 is it yeah you can ask the student to do it. You can also do it as a teaching mechanism, as an uh, as an exercise. As a, and I even use it in my my midterm exam. And of course, one question came up in the crossword puzzle. You know. <laughs> okay, so this can be done in ODL in face to face. This is now no teaching already. Teaching already. ODL concept very simple. ODL also actually ODL concept is more 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 conceptual, more administrative. Okay, two minute video of course reflection, two minute too long lah, 30 seconds cukup lah, 30 seconds, yeah, of course reflection or, or you can ask them to write uh, and then post mail to you, you are in no rush to read it, just write, post to you, okay, at least you have a whole course reflection for you to maybe improve your course or get some feedback of uh, what they think of the course, okay. Yeah. 
can do, can do. I show you very interesting. The students are enjoy like do crossover puzzle. Kita ada some KFC voucher and thing. <laughs> seriously, seriously, it's a, it's a it's a good way to actually no crossover puzzle interesting no because actually you want to learn, you don't want to kill them. You want to kill them so easy so. But crossover puzzle give them some uh inkling because there's some words in the middle that they can can use as elaborate oh, okay maybe so in the end they uh they they, they learn something and when they create a process puzzle lagi they learn something because they are the one created the puzzle they created the multiple question they created the faq so in in doing that they're also learning the content at this at the same time you know for my final i do i do this uh my final year students uh uh, uh i was given a not so new book lah to teach this course on materials processing. Uh, so I say to the student, uh, like uh, again, I broke them up to uh, the final year, not so many students. Lah. So final year, uh, I have only 24 students, so I broke them up into a group of uh, three, eight groups. So I gave them two topics each. Uh, coincidentally, I have enough topics to give. So for each topic, I said, go and find that 15 latest research paper on that topic and write a brand new chapter based on that topic from the research paper. Mm. If you said you want this one for final student, you can do that. Don't do it for a first year student, they don't know how to. I, I show them, I show actually I went through with them, I went through as a lecture, I went through with them, I gave them an example of one or two papers, how to read, how to actually. So they actually write a brand new chapter based on the 50 paper list of heading, subheading, all this. And they have to read each other's uh, chapters because that's where the exam question will come from. Not book. In fact, I also ask them to make exam question. And I choose like which one is more appropriate. So when they were writing the chapters, they every week they come and they present. So this is where my teaching comes in, in terms of what they present. If they don't understand, I elaborate. I can also I can pull up uh, uh, some kind of video on the spot to show them so on campus. Uh, but, 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 but in an off campus manner, you cannot pull out anything, but you can still ask them to do maybe one topic, not all topics, just give them some example of actually some. And this is like I say for final students, I think you can do this. So they have enough experience to actually read the paper and write, uh, summarize, synthesize, and, and come up with some kind of lecture notes. Ha, which you can use later. <laughs> okay. Uh, this one, the one, this one maybe not. No, uh, I also turn. I also turn uh, uh, written assignment into projects. Uh, pro uh, a project uh, poster presentation. So they have to write, uh, and then uh, again they can uh, take one minute to talk on the on the on the WhatsApp video to summarize and then uh, submit their poster to you and then you no know, there are so many things that can be done so many things but this is no no this is just a pendulum so I'm not sure whether you have heard, uh, any question so far anybody want to say Puan any uh, um, there's no question in the chat, but maybe we can, can open to our lecturers who want to ask questions. Uh, you can talk also. Can yeah, you, you can unmute and unmute yeah, your microphone okay, and, and ask. Uh, then I can rest for a while. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Prof. <laughs> Take five, Prof. Take five. And no, then no, no. Uh, I'll... You can, you can, you can, uh, you can, you can, you can talk to me, no problem. I mean, uh, I can hear you. Anyone? Uh, opinion ke apa ke suggestion, it doesn't matter. I mean, this is a very open, open discussion. You know? I also learned from this discussion actually, don't worry about it. Any, so, uh, any, any questions that uh, you have in mind? Just unmute yourself or... something, yeah. Yeah. Just unmute yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Prof, yes. I have a question. Like, how do you actually, uh, in your experience, how do you keep them motivated and really engaged within the class? Like, you know, this, uh, online based learning is very self directed learning yeah so how do you encourage them to do that and how do you keep them more like we are on our side probably we are doing so much to engage ourselves with them but they have to re-engage with us yeah yeah okay yes, not only we create value for each other you see there's a co-creation value for them and myself we as educators and them 
we need mm. to give value for each other but how do you in your experience how do you go about doing it because yeah. uh, the challenge now like for all of us is that the students don't on their camera all right they are there mm. we are teaching them we are there with all the enthusiasm we are there we can't see them mm. you know? and i have to imagine that they are paying attention <laughs> Of course, of course, of course. Yeah, no. so how do you go about doing that? Like, keep yourself also motivated that they are actually engaging with you. Yeah, yeah. No, no, like I said, like, like you have to tie them up with some activities, you know. They may not be, they, no, okay, okay. I always have this saying that when people say, uh, student don't log in. I said, not logging in does not mean they don't study. You know, in fact, there was there was a research being done by Jim Taylor almost about 20 years ago. He actually monitored his class in Australia. They were very advanced online. He actually monitored his class for a whole semester. And then he can he can he can group his class into three types of people. There are the workers. The, the workers. You know, workers, the lurker, you know, they looking, you know, looking around, they come and jingok jingok sikit lah, okay? and then the, the shakers, never come on, never even lock, never even log in, even once. Okay, the workers, the workers always log in, maybe two, three times a day, whatever, okay, the lurkers, sometimes ada, sometimes tak ada, macam Oreo, then the shakers, never come. But, everybody pass. Huh, how? <laughs> So not logging in does not equate to not learning. They learn, you don't know where they learn, when they learn, how they learn, you know, so you don't know. So our job is to create that, 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 that learning environment that, that uh, because we, we, okay, if you have a 200 lecture room, you don't even know what the guy at the back is doing. Try right? Sometimes you lecture 600. Uh, join that group 600 lecture hall you are in front alone talking jumping around enthusiastically the guy at the back 600 is sleeping uh, what's happening uh, you don't really even know and the worst part of it in the face-to-face -face lecture if the guy miss whatever you say he's going to miss it forever but in the odl the content is there uploaded for them to see again and again and again anytime in their own time comfortable to them so you just need to tie them up with some activities some activities and then uh, I think that that's okay because like I say you have to give them some learner autonomy because they may be they may be more comfortable learning your content not at the time that you were teaching your content because if it's uh, available in a recorded manner they will look at it later but because they have to still look at it to answer any question you ask them to do like you have to do multiple check questions you have to read your lecture then how do you create the multiple questions okay there's always interesting to give some reward. The best multiple choice question gets something. And then like I do, I, I, I reward them with everything. The best uh, FAQ group gets something, the environment, and, and even the, uh, the the lecture notes, I give them makan, you know, when they present. Sometimes very, 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 very relaxing. Uh. This one maybe tak makan, but you can always uh, make it into a, a badge or point system. Or try it to, to them with the most badges, star point, and gets uh, something at the end of the semester. Okay, like that. Uh, <clears throat> itu saja lah. Oh, you can ask them. How would you like to be done to you to make you? Uh, uh, you know, you know, we, we we never ask them what they want. Let's ask them. How what will make you happy in terms of following my lecture? Then see what happen. This can be a it can be a research paper itself. You know, can write you can write something for it. <laughs> it's very interesting. It's very interesting. Uh, like I said, you can even ask the student to find content for you. You, you you give a topic, find short videos. And in finding the videos, they actually watch the video, you know. They cannot just simply plug a video based on title. They have to watch the video. So in watching the video, they learn something. There are so many ways that you can subconsciously subconsciously make them learn. You know, and and and, and from time to time, uh, you can monitor the progress through uh, in fact, I can assure you, if you do all those small, small things, uh, learning activities. You will see a difference in the actual uh, midterm tests or uh, second midterm test. I, I, I experienced that. I, I was kind of a bit uh, uh, surprised as opposed to, you know, just uh, lecture, 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 and then I don't know, oh, the guy don't understand anything. Uh, okay, okay lah. I hope I answered that question. Any, anything else?
Anything else? Um, no, no, try, 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 try first, try first. This is a, this is no one, one, one answer that fit everything. This is a, you can try a lot of things because and even different classes, you have different students, different mannerism, different, you know, and you can, you all lecturers should kind of come together and discuss, oh, I can, I do this, I do this. You can try uh, each other's creativity in your own class, you know, I think it's, that's how it should go. Sorry, sorry, I think I cut short somebody. Yes, somebody was going to say something, you know? No, it's me, Hello? Prof. It's me. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Any anybody else? Assalamualaikum, Prof. Waalaikumsalam. Uh, saya Hanim. Uh, I just want to ask you a question. Uh, okay. Since uh, for the online, we have less uh, tests uh, and we have more uh, of assignments and so on. Okay. Uh, so is it normal that uh, most students will get A or A minus for their uh, subjects? Um, it's okay. Uh, what is what? <coughs> A means what? A from what? From the test or from the? From from all the assessment. Assessment also. <coughs> okay, sorry. Uh, you you have weightage for your assessment. I mean, with, uh, assessment has a certain weightage in itself. Right? You have assessment, you have uh, midterm, you have final exam, all those, and you have projects. All those have their own weightage, correct? Right? So it's not hundred percent assessment. You know, in order to get A, you have to get A for your poster. You have to get A for your midterm. You have to get A for your exam. You have to get A for your you know your carry mark. So if if they deserve the A, I think they deserve the A if they've done well, which. Uh, they have tested. They have been tested in many facets, like from the assignment, uh, the uh, midterms, uh, final exam, uh, projects. So I think they deserve a. They deserve a. And I think if you uh, you should take credit the fact that they probably understood what you are teaching to be able to do what you ask them to do. I think that's okay. Why not? Why do we? Why do we? Why do we not believe that they they, uh, they got an A? <laughs> ah, and then we sometimes my student got A hey, or oh, you, you downgrade them one I don't think that looks like that. If they deserve an A, they deserve an A. I think that's fine. I think we have to be true to ourselves because they, if they, they have gone through all the various mechanisms of assessment and still get an A, I think they deserve an A. Nothing wrong with that. I think nothing wrong with that. Yeah. In, in fact, you 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 should you should you should um you should actually try to get some feedback from them. How did you get your A? Tell me what's your secret. Let, let's see how they respond to you. I mean, this is this is always very interesting too. I always do that with students, even if they fail. See, why did you fail? Why is it that I thought they didn't understand? Okay, so uh, I'm not sure that I'm answering your question. Because, no, we are so we are so rigid with our assessment that we think everybody must get A and because everybody get A, everybody's good. No, grades and competencies are not the same. That's why when you go for interview, those who get first class sometimes don't get a job. They may be clever on paper, but they cannot even answer a simple, uh, cannot even solve a simple question if you do an interview. Okay. Okay. But then I said, hey, you deserve an A. I would like, I would like, I would like to know your secret. See how they answer. It's interesting. It's, it's very, like I said, it's very interesting. Time. There's so many things that can come come out of it. You know? Or uh, uh, why do we always ask why student fail? Why we why student why student get A? How do you do? Why how do you you say lah? Hey, my 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 question not so easy. How to get A? Then how did how, what's your secret? See how they answer. It will be interesting to find out. Like I said, this can be a kind of a, a casual research in, in itself. You know. All right, next question before I continue. <laughs> am, I, am, I, am I making sense or kind of uh, rambling along? First sharing, okay lah. And then next sharing can be more focused uh, to something specific. Uh, but ODL to me, like, like for, for myself, not, not, not a big deal but I was doing it. I was doing both for a long time. So uh, after a certain time, uh, after almost 10 years of uh in USA, i stopped teaching face to face i was fully 
doing ODL and researching writing paper so um, then the, I'm I although I have a PhD in physics I'm not a professor of physics a professor of open digital learning so because after that I was uh, only focused on ODL uh, teaching uh, teaching researching publishing presenting all on ODL okay actually it's very interesting it gives me a lot of room to do a lot of things terms of but i had to kind of raise tool reskill myself because i had to learn how to write from three or four pages of physics uh journals to about 20 pages to write to an open learning journal you know it's a kind of big shift in terms of writing style from four to 20 pages i had to read a lot of a, read a lot of uh things in education pedagogy Oh gosh, I couldn't. I think I actually earned a degree in, in a bachelor's degree in education without going through the course. <laughs> I have to learn on my own now to be able to to write and uh, and and talk about ODL technology. Blah blah blah. Anyway, it's been good fun. Anyway, okay, okay, yeah, next question. One more question. If no question, I continue. <coughs> Hello, Rob Rosahan. Yes, huh? oh, yeah, you're here. You've been here all the time. Well, you see, no, that. sorry, yeah. sorry. I was in another meeting, so I was in and off. Sorry, but I, I believe uh, everybody have a good time uh, interacting very richly with you. No, I don't know, but uh, nobody only one, only one person spoke, the other was fire. Uh, sorry, I missed out many parts, but I'm very sure you bring in your analogy of food. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> By the way, uh, to our dear friends and dear colleagues, uh, Prof. Rosahan, and you win so many times a long, long time ago, he's my mentor actually. And <laughs> this person is a chef, he's a good cook. <laughs> okay, yeah, the whole so, uh, <laughs> yeah, Prof. Rosahan, yeah, yeah, as a uh, UMS, uh, through Plume, our Pusat uh, Loar UMS. Uh, yeah. Under Pangara, Dr. Lim, and also Muhammad Suhaimi, uh, is now going into the area of uh, ODL and hoping, yeah. you know, that uh, UMS can also make its mark uh, okay. to attract people into our program. Okay. Now, uh, from your experience, hmm. uh, because we come in COCO, you know, as late commerce, uh, hmm. late entry, so what, what should be the strategic uh strategy or mm. strategic uh i don't know how to approach approach or whatever point of attraction so you know that uh ums make its mark that it can also be successful bowling okay. ums won't bowling that i'm odl what, what is needed what is the secret ingredient thank you okay. that one uh that one uh is a little bit later a little bit later in uh in at the end of the slides okay we can address that issue okay uh okay okay i i can be i can i be your response for because uh it's uh it's towards the end uh, towards the end i will go into the mqa uh odl okay now we're just talking about nuts and bolts okay um there, there are so many factors to 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 i, I answer your question first, there are so many actually there are so many there are so many factors that uh make uh uh the institution uh attractive Number one is uh, definitely your program, yeah. Uh, where ODL is concerned, I mean, like, 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 and then uh, the the preferences of the learners are also different. You know, different people looking for different things. That's why it's all these uh, fast food restaurant can survive. McDonald can survive. KFC can survive. Texas Chicken can survive. Mary Brown can survive. Uh, what else? Uh, in Malaysia, I don't know so many. Uh, Burger King, McDonald's because it cater to different people so you must also find out when you have your courses who is for okay who is for because you 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 have your own niche you have your own niche okay you, you uh, fried chicken is fried chicken now nah. what is a different thing? fried chicken kfc fried chicken mcdonald fried chicken different tastes different uh, coating is different uh, the variety is different so this, that's the answer to you the, you have to have enough variety you have to have enough uh, content you have to have enough okay how you i'm going to ask a question if you give 
um, I think if, if my prof on Australia, I think he, have, he, has, he, has, he has heard me say this before. If I give the same textbook to five different universities, okay, you think the graduate in the five different universities be the same or not? Ah, ni tanya puan puan Sami, ya asyik. Mana puan Sami ada sini? Kalau puan Sami pun ada. Ada. Ada, ada. ada prof. <laughs> Sentiasa menemani. Ah, ada ada saja lah wajib yang marah. Uh, I I think that the, the outcome will be different, prof. Because ah, different student, different approach from each university, even though from one source. No, I don't think it's a student. Different university will adopt a different way of teaching the same content. Mm -hmm. Some will teach it in a very theoretical way. Some will teach in a very practical way. Some will teach it in an entrepreneurial way. Some will teach it into a some way. So what you get out of the different universities is very different. Even if you give them the same textbook, okay? So. Uh, my son was teaching, my son was selecting to do quantity surveying in five different UK universities. And each one has a different focus. One came with uh, the industrial accreditation inbuilt. Some people you have to graduate, then do an extra course. With this one, inbuilt. You finish, it's already incorporated inside the course, so you get kind of tool like MBBS, like my, my, my master's of uh, medical bachelor and bachelor MBBS is two, right? MBBS is actually two degrees, bachelor, uh, master's uh, medicine, bachelor and bachelor of surgery. Now you have MD, MD is only one. So you, so you must have that kind of outlook. How can you be different? What is your selling point? How can the student benefit? So what is your focus? So you also must do some market research in how relevant or effective is your course. If that exists, then it will be upon attraction. There it must there will be a reason why people choose you over somebody else. Because they will shop around. They will shop around. They're not going to go, oh, you go to some uh, no no no. They will shop around. Uh, so you must do your homework also to find out what's out there and what is your strength. Uh, and then you must uh, be able to sell. You must be able to sell. This is where sometimes testimonial from Alumni becomes uh, important. Uh, your linkages with uh, international body, your collaboration with the research groups. Your so these are all strengths uh, that can propel your program to be a point of. ODA is not issue, Prof. ODA is just a methodology. Everybody can do ODA. You can have ten different uh, laksa store, but why people choose that one? You must find out the secret. You got you. <laughs> I'm from, from Penang. I don't know whether anybody from Penang. But then it's popular for nasi kandar. You have hundreds of nasi kandar stuff, but not one of them closed down. <laughs> you know, different shop, different taste. Even biryani, 10 different types of biryani. So people shop around, they choose which one good, not bad. They can make reviews. So people also make a review of your program. People also choose, see what you have to offer. Uh, this is this is the homework that you must do. There's no way to run, an, uh, run away from making some homework of when you want to sell your course, who are your competitors? Uh, but the, but at the end of the day, you do not focus on your competitor. You focus on your consumer. Okay. The consumer will choose the best provider. Uh, you don't do oh this person do this, I should do this. No, no, no. Why, why? You definitely do. Why you want to do? No, unless you got something else different, then you you're losing out to the guy who be done it earlier and more experienced. So you find your own selling point. Yeah. So the the, the 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 keyword that I can probably say is value added to your potential customer. Everybody wants value added. The students want value added if they can get more from you. And, uh, and uh, so uh, especially uh, if you now the way to go is to go kind of entrepreneurial. This is very popular in India, maybe probably popular in uh, many universities that I know because you don't want to teach them the course. You want them actually and in, in, in India, there's a course in management where the student actually create or form a company. They actually already offering services in the course. 
So whatever they learn in the course is applied in the running of the company. So they they actually and they actually making money. So I'm not sure what 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 uh, UMS you got I don't know you got fisheries ah uh, you can actually actually do the fisheries part on a mini commercial you actually rearing fish and selling fish and and the 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 the, the cost of on rearing fish is applied to that thing so students have the experience and uh, students have the knowledge in one shot I don't know example ah. Uh, or you can do that in engineering, you can do that in management, you can do that in finance, you know, create a company, do some. Uh, so I think if you value add with experience, so it's not like you go out with a lot of knowledge and no experience and then and, and you will lose out. I can relate, I can relate my daughter's experience in Melbourne. She graduated as an architect, but she could not find a job for quite some time. But in the meantime, she was freelancing she was freelancing with about three or four maybe about three different companies but at each company she learned something different by the time she went for an actual interview she was ahead of everybody else so this is the kind of value added that should be put in time and and the the interesting part of the uh, rmit is that the lecturers of architecture had their own firm and that's where the student do the practical in your <laughs> uh, These are some thinking ways that UMS can actually uh, think in the future in uh, like uh, how to maybe join venture with some firm that the student can actually practice something in terms of whatever they're learning so they get they get uh I'm, I'm not saying like uh no it's not uh uh it's not industrial training it's not industrial training industrial training is separate it, this is separate this is uh a real a real integration of the actual um so if this can be if that can be kind of a selling point it doesn't matter whether you you odl or face to face it's still a selling point of your the, the kind of courses that you offer value added value added I didn't see what question came out with my eyes. Thank you very much, Professor Han. Uh -huh. And I think uh, in line with what you were just sharing, uh, Dr. Can I just put in two statements and question in the uh -huh. chat? Okay, okay. Uh, I, say, can, can you read it? I, 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 I how see. do we establish our niche in the current ecosystem? I think there's a one that you're answering. Uh -huh. and then is there a strategic approach to positioning ODL in the market? Any specific? Book no. on marketing strategy, I think so. Yeah. No, if you talk about ODL, you are not talking about Malaysia. If you're talking about ODL, you are not talking about Malaysia. You are talking about the whole world. And you 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 can you can you can take an ODL course from you the uh, open university UK. You can take an ODL course from Athabasca University Canada. You can take an ODL course from uh, Indra Gandhi National University in India. Who, who's stopping you? So your focus is not Malaysia. Your focus of ODL is the whole world. That's your selling point. So if if you let this let, let, bear with me, if you if you as part of the learning uh mechanism in your odl program you have a mooc let's say you have a, you you mooc one topic you know mooc and moc you know mooc yeah you mooc one topic so if you imagine you have learners from all over the world to contribute to that mooc you know how enriched that that content going to be you know how enriched can that content be? One example, the same kind of issue, problem, whatever, coming from different cultural experiences all over the world. Every participant will be contributing to that book. You imagine how powerful that book will become, how, how powerful in terms of uh, learning experience, content, and if you do that, you I mean you, just, you must create your own niche. You cannot look at other people. You must create your own brand of how you do things. Like I said, la, five same textbook. Five different universities, but different outcome because it's how you actually uh, operationalize and teach the content in so many ways. So you must find your unique way of teaching the content, your unique way of the pedagogy that you build in, your unique way of value added for the learners that you can offer. That's yours. Nobody can contest that 
on you because you are the the con constructor of that 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 um I don't want to use your creator lah. Creator is too powerful. <laughs> Only God create. You are, the, you are the constructor of that cost. Right? So, but but again, you must do your homework. What's out there? How you can be different? Then you 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 sell your product. Ah, uh, okay. You look at others. You look at others. I don't like to use the word benchmark. The, the, the very moment you benchmark, you are already second best. When you benchmark, you are already second best. You don't benchmark. You kind of look at what's out there and you you sell your own brand. Okay? Benchmarking is a I I've been in management quality management, so I so I you know also I can talk about it, but then my this is not a platform. Okay, okay. I hope that's answering the question. But there's a lot of homework that has to be done. I mean it's not like uh, unless you unless 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 you unless this is what this is also what's done uh, there is a university in saudi arabia um, the uh, saudi digital university they actually mirror uh, franklin university in the us so they actually did not create anything new but they just kind of partner so they actually wholesale offer the whole of that university course in saudi arabia that was because that, that is already so good sometimes you don't need to duplicate you just kind of join venture and you can actually join venture with certain courses uh, in the university not the whole program Boleh je. but you but you 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 are the one who accredit this is part of the course you can you can you can adopt a consortium approach it means this course can be done with this university this course can be done other university. you are the one who at the end accredit the whole degree the world open learning is already is not understood by people you 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 talk about open learning but you still confine in your own country <laughs> i don't understand you know Okay, I give you another example. I give you an example. You talk about uh, 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 I teach physics. Eh? I teach physics. How different is the physics that I teach? Let's say on 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 on, on a certain topic. Uh, simple harmonic motion. Okay? Is simple harmonic motion in Malaysia different than simple harmonic motion in America? Different than harmonic motion in uh, Africa? Same. In fact, we use the same <laughs> same textbook. Can. So actually in Malaysia, you can have like, uh, 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 certain courses that is used by everybody. Like the book that they try to do with the upper, the five book that, that, you know, or the wajib book they have to do. I don't know. But even in other courses, management, physics, chemistry, you can create a basic book on the other university, just put in more info, more examples, more activities is enough. Why must every lecturer in UFC have uh, their own physics lecturer? You have your own physics lecturer to only facilitate. Other than you, the rest, you have 20 physics lecturer in 20 UFC have their own notes. And it's all the same. Huh? Logic, yeah? Chalawa. <laughs> I don't know. This is how I think. Now we we have technology, but we don't know how to use technology in a leveraging way. You know, technology. Is, why why do you, you must have your own. You must have your own studio. Look, Malaysia is not so big, lah. Malaysia is not so big. You can have one central studio or one studio in the north, one central in the south. You book to your studio. Malaysia is not so far to travel. People go to Penang to buy nasi kandang and come back to KL. What you know what I'm talking about? I need to fly from Sabah, lah. And we have one one studio in uh, East Malaysia. Yeah, if you have your own studio, I ask you, you use it 24 hours a day, right? No. So you have to buy the equipment, you have to buy, pay the manpower, you have to update resources, you have to, oh my God, you duplicate the same thing 20 times. Uh, this is how I think, I don't know, so up to the minister. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So I'm not sure how I'm answering your question, but but you your leverage is no longer Malaysia. You, you go ODI, your leverage the world. You can sell your product to the whole world. So don't think Malaysia. When you go ODL, think big. Think big. Then you have to do with the different time zones. It's okay. No problem. It can be done. Uh, somebody said not an option. Well, kind of say something. 
No, no. I am assuming. The, I'm. I'm. I'm not. I. I'm not withstanding any, any bureaucratic barrier lah. Any bureaucratic barrier. You know, like uh, cannot do this, cannot do that. Even if you go to MQA, you want to create ODL program. You must have ODL license, which most public university do not have. Even if you want to create ODL program, you can only create up to 30% of ODL programs because you are a face-to-face, -face, you are a full-time institution, you are not an ODL institution. So you can only do up to 30%. Okay, so you may have to choose. So these are rules and regulations. I'm, what I'm saying now is not withstanding rules and regulations. If it's a free world, it's going to be so much interesting. Okay. Okay. Can I continue a bit more? Can I entertain one last question before I continue? I don't think there's too much more. Uh, anyone? No. Uh, I think I, we can proceed, Prof. Uh, I, 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 I must be like the DJ. The DJ cannot have <laughs> the time. DJ, DJ, they cannot have the time. Any questions? Uh, cannot. DJ cannot have. Uh, date time. Date time means silence. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, you know. So I will continue. Okay. I don't, uh, but but please please get your mind going. Think about things. Be creative. You know. You can be very creative, <clears throat> and then you do what you can do. Don't 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 restrict your creativity. Don't restrict to how far you can go. I mean, there's always kind of collaboration and networking, or you can sell. Courses, you can sell courses by courses. You don't have to sell programs per se, you know, because people out there are really very flexible. They can have like thing one course from you and one course. They, they are really doing it. We are not doing it because we are so kind of hung up on, uh, like I said, the uh, rules and regulation. But the people are really very, very flexible. So they may even they may even see what you have to offer. It take one course from you and then, then it's, uh, it's good. Uh, this is about, this is about, uh, Okay, so this is a this is a buffet approach concept and something for you. I'm, I if you have not heard about it yet, now we're not talking about more content. We're not talking about length. We're talking about breadth. Now you must have <coughs> not ten more videos, but ten more different teaching approaches to the same video. You can have a lecture. You can have uh, the same content in terms of a small study group session you can have a like assignment problem based project based you can have a, a study group you can have a presentation you can have a discovery lab you can have a review whatever there are so many ways to 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 present the same content maybe this can also be another this is how you actually enrich and uh, get the student uh, motivated or the, you, you can have a buffet that like <coughs> The reason why it's called a buffet is because it's like a buffet. If you go to the buffet of a hotel, what do you eat first? Ha. If you only have one item in the hotel, you have no choice. But you have a selection. Those who like can eat dessert first. Those who like can eat uh, shutter first. Those who like can have drink first. So when you have a lot of approaches, the students who prefer problem-based can do problem-based. The students prefer study group. Can, the individual one will probably like individual, individual um, who don't like to work with other people type. They work on their own, fine. But you must have those kind of approaches. That keeps them, uh, because, because they also give room for them to explore. Like you see a brand new, strange looking dish in a hotel, you want to try, you can try. So they can also try. Oh, maybe I should try working as a group. Then they join. So they you so that you must have a a buffet for the students. And this is our job. We must have a lot of resources for our students. And like I said, you don't have to create all of this on your own. There are so many resources out there that's already in the form of a problem based, project based. I even thought. I even thought uh, I even thought my electricity magnetism cost using movie. Uh, you can have movie teaching by movie. You can Google. They they have for you your lesson plan. Blah blah blah. Hundreds of movies that you can use as teaching. Uh, management movie, medical movie, 
uh, law movie, a science movie, you can use it, you know. And then uh, I, 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 I thought that is the mechanism using Spider-Man movie. Uh, so the, uh, it's, it's a crazy time for you to explore it. So maybe um, we are guilty of not exploring too much. There, there are tons of resources out there, you know, infographics. Um, uh, uh, very, very, very interesting infographics uh, that's, that's out there that you can share with the others, you know. Okay, and for that. Okay, so uh, technological assistance. Huh? You, you, you can, and this one is some, some kind of assistance that can be used. Uh, you can use timeline software. You know, timeline software. Timeline software is what the reporters use. Yeah, timeline software. It goes by you can you can add your top ten free paid and interactive timeline makers. Okay, timeline software can be used to teach and to be in uh, for the students as a group because this, you, the timeline can detect what you do when you do and then uh, in, in in every in every sector you can upload content, you can upload pictures, you can upload uh, whatever text. So and it follows the timeline when and where uh, it was. Uh, uh, done. You can Google and see timeline. Very interesting teaching mechanism. Okay, so you can include in your timeline software your agenda for your conferencing session, your class list, class class schedule, blah blah blah. Other things like that. So it's a timeline. You can see the timeline. Da, 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 da. General. It can go into months, months, day, week, even hours. You know, okay. okay. Use of video editor, movie maker. You can even ask a student to make a movie also. In your laptop, there's already a movie maker or video editor. Very simple to use. Uh, use a student to summarize your, your, your first lecture or your lecture in, a, in, in, in a, as a group in, in a short, short two, two, two minute movie. That forces them to read and, you know. Uh, use collaboration tools, use Padlet, Mochi Notice Board, use curation portfolio. I already talked about it. You know, there are so many tools, like easy tools. Not, not, don't go for the crazy difficult to learn tool. Very simple tools that are friendly to the learners, more friendly to the lecturers. <laughs> or equally friendly to the lecturers. Or you can ask a student to teach you. Right? <laughs> they are very good at it. So there's so many, so many. Uh, okay, okay. I'm almost near the end already. Okay, okay. Uh, we, yeah, we do leave some time for leave some time for discussion. <coughs> any comment on this? If you have any other relevant, uh, this include like the apa the um, crossword puzzle generator, etc., etc. All this under technological assistance. You know, you can uh, do so much. Very very simple. Um, exercises uh, through the phone uh, is the easiest one so find something which is very very, very low uh, low uh, low bandwidth uh. <clears throat> okay okay so uh, concluding okay uh, spending a little bit uh, there's a few more slides up today we look at some IQ aging in here. don't worry um, we, I think we have time enough time for me to finish and maybe uh, can we have some some short discussion before ten o'clock? Is it public studio or what? Lama dah juga tiga jam ni. Okay. Okay. Uh, my 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 take on online is he only connects. He only connects. He doesn't do anymore. He doesn't do the teaching for you. Online is just connecting. Tapi sedih lah budak supaya kena panjat pokok dan dapat connection. You know. So I, like, I commented on my Facebook, if that guy, that girl had fallen down, broke her neck, broke her leg, who's going to pay for that? You know, it's just, you know, it's not a, it's not, it's not a hunky dory of climbing a tree or whatever. It's not, that's not the point. The point is, it, it connect, you connect only when you need to connect for an activity. Otherwise, you can always post them the content, give them time to read, come online, one hour, where one hour intense discussion, and that's enough. After that, they go back to the, to the reading uh assignment or something you can maybe you know but it's a blend it's a blend and, and like i said it has always been a blend you know dulu it was kind of an old technology brand now new technology brand that's it it's still blend but i think it's so important to profile the learners profile the learners and uh, because profiling the learners assists you in kind of uh, 
uh, creating content, whether it's going to be kind of uh, uh, activity rich or but learners, if you profile, I've been profiling so many. They, they have all, all, all aspects. Like they have visual, they have audio. So that's why you must have a buffet. Buffet so that they choose. Uh, I'm not saying no one is 100% uh, audio. No one is 100% video. No one is 100% kinesthetic. They have everything. So you must also have <coughs> all those parts for them. Okay, so use mobile devices, uh, WhatsApp, Telegram. And at the end of the day, you must also ask students' capability. You know, then only you know how to tweak your content in any uh, possible way. Okay, this one is okay. This one, like I said, I, I told Prof Fong and uh, Prof Wan, and also I also told Dr. Sahimi. Actually, if you were to talk about uh, doing a program uh, ten years ago, then you have issues because there was no code of practice for uh, 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 MQA, for ODL, but now you already have, this is a second edition of 2019, uh, the code of good practice for open and distance learning. So all you need to do is actually go through this and fill in the blanks. I mean, there are seven parts, you know, they are on program content delivery, assessment and student learning, student selection and support services, academic staff, physical facilities, program management, and also program uh, monitoring. So these are all you do. You do in the face-to-face, -face, but now it has to be very transparent. Okay? Because the students are not in front of you. They are not in the same location as you. So they must be facilitated well. Let's see. At um, I just pick up a few things. This is under student support services. What This is in the document. It says, Student must have, access, must have access to appropriate educate and continuous support services such as <clears throat> uh, main campus, regional centers, social, financial, recreational and online facilities and counseling. Well, all student support services must be designed to cater for non-residential nature of all the others. So this you must have. So you must tell MQA you have support services for uh, students that is not on campus. So what is it? You have, put it in, you have to put it in your document. Okay. There must be a designated administrative unit with a prominent organizational status in the HCP responsible for planning and implementing support student services staffed by individuals who have appropriate experience for ODL learners. You know, if you don't understand ODL learners, you cannot service them well. Okay, uh, you, you, this one is all in documents. So all you need to do is to follow and give the responses for each part. This one is number uh, there must be mechanism that actively identify and assist students who are in need of academic counseling. Uh, department must have clear defined document processes in handling student disciplinary cases, uh, grievances, resolution, uh, uh, student support services uh, to evaluate regularly, ensure the educacy, effectiveness, and student well being safely. So, you know, these are all the issues that you raise about student uh, punya, uh, effective uh, punya issues. So the way you take care of students on campus is the same. Uh, on campus, you also have counseling, but off campus, I don't know. Okay, this is this is a full full ODL program. You may not have a full ODL program, but what what you are doing now is in ODL mode. So uh, so the, the 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 feeling that the learner your learner in your own home now is the same as an ODL student. Yeah, you may not have you may not have an official ODL program, but what you are doing now is in an ODL mode. Okay, the fact that they are away from home, the fact they have to be facilitated in terms of uh, well-being, uh, seeking information, updating with information, teaching, and then access to resources, support services, online uh, LMS, uh, whatever the case may be. You know, uh, access to content or program, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, maybe your video conference schedules. So all this must be there. You know, and this must be stated in the uh, ODL document, which will be evaluated by the ODL assessor. Uh, yeah, MQA ODL assessor, and I'm I'm one of them. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so this one is education resources. Okay. 
must have a, 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 a physical and virtual facilities. Okay. Uh, number one, HCP must have policy regarding the selection and effective use of electronic devices, internal, external networks, e-content, other effective means using in the program. So you must state what kind of resources you have, how the student will access your content. Uh, if you tell that 50% student cannot access the content, you're going to be in trouble. Okay. So when you do ODL, means every that's why ODL, only those who have access can do ODL. Because the, the, the prerequisite, you must have access, you must have online. So those who do not have online cannot do ODL. But in our case, we force online, we know people don't have online. This is our problem. That's a different issue altogether. So the program must have sufficient appropriate physical and virtual facilities, electronic learning platform, LMS, which you already do, education resources to ensure effective delivery, uh, including facilities for practical based and research programs and those with special needs. Huh. So these are all in the document. You read that. I'm not going to read all of it. I just extract number number three is the support services. Number 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 five is education resources. Number uh, one point two is teaching and learning methods. There's some more. Uh, the, the, I, I only extract a certain part. Number one point two <coughs> dot 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 means there's something else in between lah. I just focus at the back. There must be if. Is appropriate learning and teaching methods relevant to the program education objectives and learning outcomes, which covers the following. Okay, the department must establish a mechanism or system where all forms of interaction and deliveries are integrated. The program must involve the provision of appropriate self instructional learning material to the learners. There must be a unit selection, there must be a unit uh, devoted to the design development of self instruction material. Uh, uh, you read lah. Okay, the department must provide an electronic or online learning platform to conduct learning and teaching. Okay, that one you already have. Tapala, whatever lah. These are the things that uh, is ensure quality assurance in the provision of the open and distance learning programs. This is must be in your document. This will be very, very if you do not have all this, you cannot get the accreditation to run an ODL program. But like I said, you are not running an ODL program per se, you are just adopting ODL concept. Okay, But even so, if you use this as a guideline, you should ensure the quality of the provision. That's why we are in trouble because we use online when some of them do not have online access. So we are kind of a, not being fair to the learners, you know. But if you actually send content in any other way, like you post on uh, in a pen drive or you post them written content then it's okay that's okay as long as they have content and have, as long as you facilitate for the teaching and learning the interaction uh, they get feedback from on their work progress i think that's okay you know like i said you are not an odl program uh, you, you are not an odl provider per se you're just adopting odl concepts okay apparently uh, i think i'm done already Ha, huh. okay, then I come to my last point on the best. Okay, we have half an hour for some discussion if you want. If you can, I hope you can follow what I've been trying to say all this while, I know, ODL and more teaching and learning online, offline, blended, and mostly, mostly teaching and learning. Lah. Teaching and learning. Uh, online ODL itself is not a, not a, not a, not so difficult concept to, to understand because you are experiencing, yes, you, you are experiencing it yourself now. You are experiencing the, open and distant learning now, although you are not open this thing because the fact that the students are no longer on campus. So what you need to do is kind of very OODL. <coughs> okay, can I open the floor to any comments, discussion, feedback, or amongst yourself want to suggest something, go ahead. We have in the next maybe, I'll give you another 20 minutes or so. Okay, fine. Okay, thank you, Prof. Uh, thank you, Prof, for the engaging sharing. Maybe, um, and then when you highlight the the technical part of COPA, and that's where the lecturers, I think, the one who are, who will the program that will develop the you now develop adopting the ODL experience yeah, should yeah. should uh, take into consideration. Yeah. So, um, actually, in adopting ODL in UMS, it's not a silo work. It, it uh, actually the PKPKA, the the quality 
teaching and quality department, the yeah. of campus and the e pembelajaran okay. must work together. Sure, sure, so, sure. Maybe, so maybe, uh, maybe we have questions from the floor, maybe from our our friends in Plums. Um, But maybe, I, I already send you the whole document. The, the, mm. you can, yeah, you can. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I will. I will share with the participants yeah. of the the COPA document. No problem. Yeah, actually, actually, if you ask me, it's a good document. It's a good document to to ensure quality of the program. You know. Yes. Anybody? Oh, tired of listening. Really. <laughs> two hours, Prof, but very engaging. Oh, two hours. <laughs> yes, Prof. Uh, yeah. There you go, Prof. Aziza here from UMS. Yep. Okay. Okay, uh, I just want to uh, just a feedback lah. I found that your presentation is interesting and you know in a way you much a bit comforting me because some of the method that you use I also incorporate in okay. my teaching. Good. But it's just that for me lah, I found that sometimes the, the MQA thing tu kan, macam if you have the rubric macam I, I love to do Like my subject is like wildlife management. We are talking about awareness. So the awareness can be reached. Like if the student can do, to, I ask the student to create uh, engagement, punya video something like that. But yeah. then we should we come up with the rubric lah, pala. Uh, I know that the quality issue is important, and I I see that some somehow MQA sometimes they limits creativity bah. But some of the creativity we cannot. I don't know, mungkin saya tak pandai lah kot. Um, um, that's my comment now. No, no, no. We have the, the, no, no, no. The, the, word, the word is not limit. The word is to make sure at least you have all those parts. You know, but that's not stop you from doing more. No, the, the, actually, the, 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 the philosophy of the uh, MPA is to make sure at least everybody has the same uh, quality in terms of the most basic requirement. But it does not stop you from doing more. Uh, does it, it doesn't even require you to report more. You just report whatever is necessary to, to fulfill the obligation of that you have a, a, a quality assured program. Okay, you, I, are you trying to tell me if you uh, may not, like like even even different lectures teaching the same subject will probably give different amount of coursework, different amount of examples, different correct not? But you must at least fulfill the minimum to be able to uh, assess the learner. What MQA is doing, they, they must they must make sure that the the, the programs have uh, uh, acceptable quality of offering. Does it make sense? Okay, bro. Thank you. Okay. So please, please be 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 creative. Don't worry about it. You know, this is to the benefit of the learner. Don't worry about the 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 the. Don't worry about MQA. Just just do your as a lecturer. You know, give as much you can. Because whatever the students learn from you, they going to give back to the to the community. If they are good, the community is going to get good, good, good student, good workers. You know, you know, we don't want to. Uh, this is our promise to our job that we gonna give, make, train the best student that come out of UMS. You know, they are they are, they are good doctors. They are good whatever. They are good uh, managers, and that that in itself bear testimony to to the to, to the. The quality of your maths, you know. Agree. Yeah, okay. Okay. Right, all the best. Thank you. Alright. Anybody else? Hey, ramai yang tengah tanya ke? <laughs> Ada yang dah angkat tangan tu. Saya rasa. Um, yeah. Amin. Uh, Amin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Puan Tony, terima kasih. Uh, Prof. Uh, uh, Amin Udin from uh, UMS. Uh, saya ada one one question. Yeah, only from UMS one. Oh ya yeah, kan? Oh ya. Yeah. Mana hmm. tahu ada apa tu? I, I was influenced by uh, Aniza just now. Dia pun cakap <laughs> yang aku cuba. <laughs> anyway, so I have a, uh, some something to to ini um, that crossed my mind lah. Just now you are uh, you 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 mentioned about uh, allowing time. So when I'm looking at when I am understanding 
uh, when you mentioned about allowing time itu so I look at it allowing time versus advance in preparation kan so uh, somehow uh, it allowing time macam mana? allowing time macam mana? Uh, Allowing time versus advance in preparation. Okay. Yeah. So somehow, uh, to my understanding, memang ianya uh, somehow uh, refer juga kepada kita punya of flexible uh, flex, uh, student flexible learning, synchronized okay. and synchronized tu kan. Okay. So my question is, kita ada uh, attendance, students attendance. So how do we manage that when it comes to uh, this issue? Sebab they have timetable and the timetable somehow uh, uh, nanti clash dengan other 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 classes and other subjects or other courses. So how what what is your your opinion on that? Okay, okay, thank you. Uh, okay, I don't know how I don't know how flexible UMS can be, but you must really understand the word flexible. I give you an example. Uh, when I was in, on sabbatical in the States in 1991, the university that I went to, Auburn University, was actually doing ODL on campus. Ah, can you understand that? They actually was running an ODL program on their full-time students on campus. Because in US sometimes they have so many clashes of timetable. So, so some of the full-time courses are converted into an ODL course on campus. So students don't go to lectures, students just read the module, students have one or two designated planned discussion with the lecturer and all the other time they are on their own and then come to do the assessment and then see for the exam. So you, you can actually run an ODL program in a full-time situation. Would they? And it's not, it's, not so, it's not so bad because they still have access to library, they still have access to lecture. They, they're, not, they're not banned from meeting the lecturer, it's just that they don't have formal lectures as such. They're just doing their studying based on the self-instructional module that is given to them in the campus on top of the other face-to-face -face lectures. So, like I said, if uh, I'm, I'm not too, I am personally not too hot on attendance. In fact, in my teaching of face-to-face -face students, then I never take attendance. <laughs> Although they ask me to take, I never take. At best, I say, student, give me attendance. Yeah, uh, they mark, don't mark, I don't care. Yeah. Make no difference. If you, this is my personal opinion. Uh, we we want to facilitate learning, but you cannot say learning only happens from nine to five, uh, from eight to nine. Learning can happen twenty four seven. So this is the paradigm that we must change. We we we, we set a timetable so that we have a specific time to deliver the lecture. But the the flexibility is such that the the content should be made available so that student can watch it later. We have reached this stage now. We are no longer. Uh, hardcore classroom lecture anymore. We have reached this stage now where we have to be flexible and we have to couple that with uh, enough uh, assessment and uh, things that compel them to do uh, that reflect some kind of competency. Even if they come to lecture every day, they learn nothing. What's the, what's, what's the difference? Even And if you don't come to lecture but they really study and they put, so how do you how do you consolidate and the fact that you must attend lecture, you know, I mean, this is, uh, even, the, like, even the students now, it's very different from the students of 10 years ago or 20 years ago. They, are, they, are, they, are, they have access to so many resources, they can do study group, they can do, uh, you, we must be the guiding, we must hold the string to the kite and pull when necessary, let go when necessary, but the wind from us must be there. We are always the wind that make them fly, but sometimes we slacken the, the tali, sometimes we pull the tali. Uh, they are maybe uh, far away, but it's, you are still attached to them by the string. This is, to me, so exciting time of teaching and learning. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sad, I'm retired. <laughs> 
No, no, no. Be uh, as uh, creative, and you, you, you talk to your your administrators. Uh, as any, if you can prove that there is a good um, student performance, uh, whether in terms of assessment or projects or whatever, I think it's something that is worth venturing. You know, you don't have to be like everybody else. You know, you can. Um, if you ask me, this is the time to kind of venture, innovate, and at the same time, uh, you have enough, you have enough, um, you know, you have enough mechanism to assess them. Uh, like I said, lah, if we want to be traditional, like scholar, make attendance, look, these are university students, no? these are not school children. I mean, kita pun, in a way, the university must grow up as well. Lah. You want to be that traditional university. We are not tra in traditional times anymore. We are kind of a... Uh, uh, different paradigm time we must it has given us an opportunity to be to be innovative like if you ask me i don't know uh, if we don't change nothing will change we still same old story and if you're still waiting that's to you go back to normal like before uh you're gonna have a long wait i think and in the meantime you are actually jeopardizing uh maximizing teaching oh you still you still hanging on to your you're not actually venturing into something new because you are expecting to go back to the old nope I think it's a different, it's a very different mindset. And then you're talking about jobs in the future that you don't know what it looks like, and you're still using your old notes trying to teach the future that you have no idea about. That's why you have to be very innovative. What is the idea? You make the future, you make the future, you make sure that the student come out of UMS with competencies so that any other student are already lacking in the competency, but you and my student already have that age. You want that age, you want that value added for your for your student. I'm not saying you're gonna change everything overnight, but I think something worth venturing and, and deliberating, and maybe you pilot like, one or two courses that do things in a different way. You know? I mean, uh, then if it's effectiveness, you 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 pilot, you see effectiveness, what the uh, troubleshooting, uh, what are the, then, then you find ways to improve what work, what doesn't work. I mean, you, you are, we are an institution, we can treat that as a research in itself. What's the, what's the, what's, 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 nothing, nothing holding you back. That's my opinion, Anna. I will answer that question. Apa dia, I can, I see something about Kepulauan MQA, I cannot, I cannot, uh, yeah, Puan Sami, apa dia, about MQA? Because, because of the attendance prof, because uh, I, there are a question here in terms of um, um, wajib untuk attendance in AQ, MQA and then uh, somebody yeah. said attendance bukan keperluan dalam MQA pun but we can link it with the, with the ISO. So, yeah, nanti sini mau ask for attendance. <laughs> we, 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 we just have the our new pusat jaminan quality prof um so maybe what we no. can do we just discuss with the cqa and then how we go no, no, about no. this you, you 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 can take attendance i i okay yeah yeah you 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 say if the student do not fulfill 80 percent of attendance you bar them from the exam is that something like that mm -hmm. yeah. But I think all those are old paradigm. Lah. Kita punya objektif ini nak 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 mengilmukan to educate, to educate, to educate. This I mean to me, uh, attendance is not a big issue. But we are still hanging on to that. Uh, okay, if you say attendance, why do you say that all the students handed in everything that is assigned to them? Everybody signed up the assignment. Everybody uh, well. Uh, uh, present in the test, everybody in here, every, every so what's the uh, so doesn't mean they don't attend one lecture, they don't know anything. Yeah, because learning takes place anywhere, anytime, not even your, your, not just in your classroom. And, we, and with the fact that you have video lectures uploaded, they can view it anytime, anywhere. They don't even have actually, they don't even have to come to a lecture, you know. So you cannot, you cannot, that's why I say, uh, Macam Draka says that you cannot plan for the future based on old practices. Mm. Can you are still yes. clinging on to all this, uh, 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 and you talk about flexibility, you talk about online, you talk about learning autonomy, you talk about personalization, you talk about 
uh, anytime, anywhere, and then you still want, you actually you still want uh, attendant. I don't know lah. I'm talking off the cuff, but 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 if, uh, you 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 still take attendance for the moment, but try to be a bit more innovative in the future. I mean, talk to your bosses lah. I mean, the VC can always talk to three. You really was not after attendant or what? 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 I mean, we know we know, but it's policy to take the attendant. Then mana? But you, like I said, I gave the attendance to my student. You just send it to me at the end. I don't care. You come, don't come, not my mister. You give, so everybody attend lah. Uh, sometimes but I that's, feel... That's, 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 that's me lah. That's me. That's the follow what I do lah. <laughs> I'm not known to follow a regulation anyway. So, go then. Yeah. But how if I read through the chat kan, uh, Zizah here again. Macam uh, in the end kan, the attendance not only check on the students but checking on the lectures as well. Whether kami buat kelas ke tidak. So, I guess that's the thing. Yalah, yalah, like I said lah, when I go to conference, sometimes I just do, I don't attend the class, but the class continue. You know, you you want to act this is like standard, standard one punya class tu, teacher kena ada, lecturer kena ada tu. This is not, this is adult learning university style. This is not school style, you know. I my 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 friend uh, my friend go to overseas took one hour out go to have his hotel room and conduct the lecture was he in class in UMS in UMS no I mean not UMS lah was he in class in Malaysia yeah. no yeah. the class is going on yeah hmm. yeah teaching go on interaction go on you don't have to be physically present in the class to say that oh I what the you know nak mula nak cakap benda benda benda, benda. Yeah, you know this paradigm must change. You, 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 even even with, with all due respect, you can. I I I I, I remember Dato Idris Yusof saying that now student can learn from any time anywhere. You can check up you. Can. I remember that when he came, say, oh now student can learn from any time anywhere. So if student can learn from any time anywhere, why is come uh, 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 attendance such a big deal? They can learn from anywhere. Anyway. They can access your money. They can have a study group anyway, so like that. I don't know. You, you as a university, you come out with some some university policy, kapo ka, you know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, like I say, I'm, <laughs> I'm not done with all this. But it's still very exciting, lah. We are no longer like dulu. We kena kena. I uh, rebel, rebel. Okay, ah, uh, no, the you you will be. Uh, you don't know. The, <laughs> they like you are interesting. <laughs> Yeah, lah, lah. Create your own destiny. You know, make make you make your own networking. Create your own. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, you know, as a lecturer, nobody can stop you from doing anything. You know, I want people want to invite you. Kino, people don't have to go through your head department to invite you. As Kino, they invite you directly. You just have to know how 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 you can do things. You know. You know, I, I tell you a secret, and you want me to edit. Really Sometimes I used to hang around the back fax machine, you know. You know, hang around the fax machine so that whatever come I get first. You know. Sometimes whatever comes out from the machine, doesn't come to you, you know. Uh, see you some secret. <laughs> Rebel or not, tak tahu lah. But you have to find your own way to, 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 you have to navigate your own way. And then you sit down, wait, wait, wait. Oh, people tell you, people don't tell you, you don't know. You go and find out things. You find, make your own opportunity. Make your own opportunity. Yeah, ah, uh, want to go to conference? You minta lah, minta, minta, minta sponsorship. They got money, they give you. Some, I have even been uh, to a conference where they they contacted me one week before the conference. Okay, because they got money. At the end of the they got money. They got some money. Oh, then they for those who wrote to them. Okay, we have some funds. Would you like to attend? We pay. We, we pay. They buy us more. So I went to see the VC. Dulu there was regulation. Uh, you have to give them what? One month, two months advance notice to go to 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 conference. Correct lah. If you remember lah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still, uh, so, still, still, prof. I don't know. Uh, yeah. So, so I, I got invitation one week before the conference. So I went to see my VC. VC, ni dia yang buat. Gua lah. VC, ah, ini tengok lah. VC tu ada, ada, ada whatever nak yang, yang tak ada tu kata tak boleh. Ya, ada kata pergi lah. Kan? People don't conform to our own regulation. They don't care where you say much talent. They got money, they invite you. You want to come, you can. They don't come, they give somebody else. You lah rugi. Kena, so you must be the even the, even the I'm not saying anything about your VC lah or any VC. The, the whoever is in charge should have some sense in kind of making some decision. If you only got an, an invitation one week before, 
how are you going to say one month punya regulation? They don't know about your, they don't care about your regulation. They got funds, they invite you. Itu saja. You do, you want to stick to your regulation, go ahead. They can find somebody else. We are the one who are lost. So, I've gone through so many things lah. I'm strong with no lah. <laughs> Rebel is nothing lah. I've been called a gangster tu lah. You know. Rebel tak apa lah. You know. But bottom line is you have you can always be very innovative and 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 uh, shape your own uh, way of doing things, create your own connection, create your own network overseas, and then uh, get invited here, invited there, they pay for you. Like that, uh, so uh, you, you teaching is teaching lah. You, but teaching like I say nowadays you can even teach when you're overseas. You can teach on the uh, uh, on your mobile when you're overseas. You can do a self instructional. You can do live or you can just. Uh, when you're on live overseas, you can just hold on for discussion, for half an hour discussion based on content. You already send them one week before. Okay, next week I'll be away. Please read this and I will try to get one, half an hour uh, while I'm uh, uh, overseas online for some discussion. Done. Teaching. You can have a one hour class like that. Can. No, no, no. Asyad orang ke? Mau lagi lah. Ada ah, prof. Eh, okay, okay, semua okay. orang sekarang ni. Uh, sorry, sorry. Listen to me, babbling, babbling. I just sharing, sharing. No, I think a uh, lecturer is so interesting. You make your life in, make your life interesting. Mm -hmm. Nobody can make Actually, for you. Only you. I think, prof, what we can do, we we have to be creative in in meeting the MQA requirement, as you said just now. That yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Bukan creative, you clever, do... clever. You have to be ah, clever, ah. Clever. Okay, clever. Well, prof, there's another, there's a question uh, yeah. um, from, sure. from one of the participants. Um, sure. How to make teaching and learning effective in class with over 200 students learning online? <clears throat> there are students who can't cope with the process of methods of learning itself, given so many obstacles, let alone issues of connectivity. Yalah, connectivity online is only one way to connect. So like I said, lah, we were fun, we were we were doing all, we were doing ODL. We were even before connectivity existed. Mm -hmm. uh, I was teaching ODL even before handphone existed, even before internet existed. So we're doing uh uh, uh okay, you are in a, you are in you are in an immediate you are in an immediate paradigm. You are you are looking at face to face paradigm means you lecture you can see you can see you can see people you can see body language you can uh, send assignment um, you teach in the morning you expect the assignment to be on your desk tomorrow evening means you are still in a face to face paradigm you are no longer in a face to face paradigm so everything that happens must be given time so in a face-to-face -face paradigm, you can you can see them uh, two hundred in a classroom in a ODI paradigm. You cannot see them, but you can you can. There are ways to 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 make them uh, uh, by by breaking them into groups by 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 giving back the the kind of learning to them, breaking them into groups. You must appoint a leader that will coordinate the groups, and they can do a better job amongst themselves because you cannot handle them. Okay. Uh, question again. One question again. Uh, the, the, the effectiveness of online learning when you have effectiveness. Uh -huh. What? 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 If I can be naughty, I can ask you how effective is face to face. <laughs> yes, the uh. same question. Can. Mm -hmm. In fact, if you ask me. ODI is more effective like, like I said lah, you walk into a lecture room, that's the first time the student nampak muka you, uh, listen to your lecture, listen, look at your PowerPoint, copy your PowerPoint, at the same time they have to understand and say, if you talk about quantum mechanics, they're dead. Hmm. You cannot understand anything you say. I teach uh, statistical, uh, I teach mathematical physics, they don't understand what I say in lectures. I never do a separate tutorial. I have never done a separate tutorial in my life. I will gabung the tutorial and the teaching. So my teaching is already incorporated uh, exercises so that I must make sure what I teach is understood. If you teach and tutorial two weeks later, they won't remember what you taught two weeks ago and then you tutorial, forget it. Mm -hmm. 
Kan? I always package the teaching and the uh, the the tutorial sekali. So what you learn, I see you can do it now. If you cannot do it now, we solve it now. Then uh, after that lecture, you already got some uh, some knowledge and some practice on uh, how it works or do some example. I package it. I never do lecture lecture and then two weeks later or somebody else run tutorial for you. Lagi haru. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I, this is how I do. I have never done a separate tutorial in all my life. I always incorporate tutorial and the lecture as a package and that, that's throughout the whole semester. It's easier to follow, then, then you can follow the progress and, and effectiveness better than you know for sure. Uh, and and I, I only get about one or two failures. Hmm. And even then, I know for sure the guy didn't read at all. Because you can follow the program. The rest, oh, memang majority, <laughs> you talk about the mathematical physics with a lot of A's. Tak crazy. Eh? Bukan crazy, they understand. Because you teach in a way that they make them understand. Not, not there's a matter teaching tutorial, teaching tutorial. You have to have a little bit of a And you must also think of subject by subject. Maybe certain subject, this is the best way. Maybe certain subject, that's another way. Certain subject, project based. Certain subject, uh, go for a visit somewhere. So, I don't know. You will know your subject better. But uh, for me, to separate tutorial and lecture is, uh, I've never done before. I've never done that in my life. I've never, I've incorporated tutorial with the lecture so that the student get the feel of the thing uh, as a complete package after they leave the one hour they already done some uh, some some teaching some learning some exercises and some knowledge retention that's important the knowledge retention part is important uh, and then i also have very impromptu quiz come to class first five ten minutes quiz unannounced you will not find them loitering outside doing nothing they'll be learning because they know the quiz is there the quiz is there oh yes if the quiz is there oh you know like that. so there's so many ways of doing it. there's so many ways of doing it you know you, uh, you know, I don't know online the online there's some limitation lah, because if you cannot go online you have to find other ways to tie them up in terms of uh, assessing some assessment like now you know even postal but not like something you want tomorrow next week everything might have must have time to happen as much as it has time to be given to them to read send content early then class follow not uh, not not the face to face paradigm face to face paradigm must you are you are st all still thinking in face to face paradigm odi paradigm is very different the planning the the advance uh, punya planning the management the the transparency, the, you must tell student what necessary, when necessary, when to send, what to send, what to do, uh, the amount of scope for your test, amount of scope for it. It's more kena, kena very open. Mm -hmm. Okay? okay. Thank, you. Thank you, Prof. Anything else yang whoever mau tanya, Papa? Uh, um, I will share, so, uh, because Prof already share with me some readings i will share in the chat actually i'm initially maybe i don't want to send that to you because you know sometimes when you read you are confined by the reading hmm. and you are kind of uh, i i I'm, I'm sure all the lecturers here you you're very you are very creative you 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 have been teaching that subject for so long. You have, I think, read enough papers, and then you have seen enough uh, students' style, students who kind of, um, um, uh, you you know what's what what's 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 troubleshooting lah. Sometimes you you can see the way they answer exam question. What is it they don't understand? What is it? so you can pick up on all those and try to enhance your your lectures and uh, how you deliver in terms of. Uh, uh, addressing those issues so that the the we, we don't we don't see anymore student don't have to answer if student don't have to answer what does it say actually hmm. uh, you, that, you make your own conclusion if students say i do you did they, they did not answer well uh, why did they not answer well did you not tell them well did you not make sure they understand well I don't know. so it can, at the end of the day in the end it comes back to you yeah yeah yes yes prof that's why even though you said that the materials will you but the, the materials that you actually the self-learning materials development actually is one way of when i read it and i, I can compare whether i'm doing it right or not all this while 
So it's a terms of reference for those who have been doing it online, but keep asking, am I doing it right or not? Yeah. So your references is, I think it's a good references yeah, for the yeah. lecturers to, to, to read. Yes. Uh, yeah. But different people uh, will, will take different things. Right? I mean, it doesn't matter, it's just a reference. Isn't it? Yeah, uh, it's a fast food metaphors, Prof. Kan? The menu is there, so it's up to you whether you feel like want to adopt it or not. There's another question, Prof. Um, sure. um, slow learners and technical courses, how hmm. to best harmonize these two on ODL? Slow learners. Slow learners. Uh, no, slow learners simply means they take a longer time to understand. That's why if you give a lecture, the slow learners will switch off because they cannot follow. It's slow means they must have the opportunity to look at your content again and again and digest. That's slow, not stupid. Okay, slow means they take more time to understand. So if uh, uh, content is available on the on the on the on the uh, uh, if available to them in terms of uh, the self learning structural material or, or if they can have access, then they have the opportunity to read again and even refer to a friend or something for a discussion. So they may be slow, but they will get there. That kalau kalau tak kalau tak pandai cerita lain, ni slow tu tak apa. But those who capture fast capture slow, it's okay. So if you can facilitate with kind of uh, more examples, then the slow ones will understand. Uh, okay, I give you an example. I always give this example. If you learn how to drive a motor car, to take car driving license, you think that the instructor take you on one road only? Try not. The instructor will take you to many routes. Kalau yang 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 bijak tu satu route cukup. Uh, so the other person they must do too many routes. Uh, they know oh, okay lah. Like uh, like they have more. So bottom line they have more, more practice, more exposure. Then they are slow, but they're not they're not incompetent. They're not they're not not clever. They are just slow. So they must be given time to digest. So uh, if we give them enough resources, enough kind of maybe if they uh, can communicate with you or friends so to so i think uh, but but monitor so lah. that's why you have a kind of midterm assessment so when do so slow maybe give that a bit more attention to so. but you must also find out what is the problem we don't say oh 30 percent plan but so uh, 30 percent fail so what do you do with the 30 percent fail how do you address those those uh, they may be the slow ones but they may need a different kind of help than the other 60 and 70 percent yeah yeah, I, I, I have students who kind of uh, have a clue of uh, mathematical physics and actually passed the course. <laughs> but he, he was very rajin to come and see me, you know. So, so those are rajin. Today he's slow, but eventually he passed the course. Yeah. Okay. So we have to facilitate for that. So, if you have ODL, you may have to come up with... That's why I, like, I give an example like my my my, uh, my lecturer. First day of lecture, he gave 100 total questions. So if you can give them some kind of worked example so that they can see uh, those who are clever, who don't care about your work, but those who are slow, they will really study the work example. Uh, so you must facilitate in that manner uh, so that they can spend uh, their own time to, to, to go through. Uh, okay. There's no wrong answer here. This is something what this is what I have done in my my in my case for all the slow under you got slow learners. We have slow learners. Yeah, no, yeah, you get all sorts of learners. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe last question. Oh yeah, maybe last questions from the from from the participants. We have around five minutes more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, just put it here. Anyway, while you're typing or something, I just to express my appreciation. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to share something with you. I hope it's not uh, uh, confusing you more. <laughs> There's so many tech talk away, about talk away points, Prof, that we uh, learned today. Uh, la, 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 la. I mean, you know, uh, just sharing my experiences and uh, my opinion on, uh, but, but I, technical courses, technical courses, what about it? What about technical courses? Oh yes, uh, Prof did not answer on the technical courses. Uh, what, 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 what about technical courses? 
um, uh, maybe Prof. Rumal, uh, Murali, you can um, ask the questions yourself. Just unmute yourself. Yes, ma'am. Um, Hello? Yeah. Uh, yes. Um, can I hear? Uh, I'm looking for maybe he's, he was, I have to unmute him. Okay, uh, I'm not sure what is what I'm not sure what what's uh, uh, how uh, technical cost require detailed exposure detailed exposure such as what? Um. Okay. 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 Uh, actually, uh, uh, okay. There, there, there is a concept uh, of teaching audio graphics. Audio graphics. This is this is done the days before internet or all this uh, all this equipment uh, was available. Audio graphics simply means uh, you are teaching with audio, and the 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 technical things uh, on paper are broken up into pieces. Sometimes you also use you also use um, transparency. You layer transparency so that one layer exposes one 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 mechanism, another. So when you put all the layers together, you kind of deconstruct the whole the whole the whole the whole the whole drawing or concept or machinery or whatever. And then um, you can also teach uh, by segment, part by part. And then at the end of the day, you put together all the parts. There's so many ways of doing it, actually. And online might not be the best way. So still kind of print based with some audio. Or video, which can come in a CD, it doesn't have to come on uh, online all the time. Tapi pedagogically boleh buat lah, boleh buat, boleh buat. Pernah dibuat pun. It has been done. It has been done. But like I said, you cannot treat all subject the same, and there are there are there are, there are always ways to do it. Don't worry about it. Just just uh, uh, for technical courses, boleh buat. It's just like okay, my 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 easiest answer to you, if you were to look at a car manual. It is so thick, but it, it, it kind of takes the parts out one by one. One they explain nut and bolt this and that. So this is the kind of thing that that thing must you also look up. Man. You can come with a short video. Uh, you can come with a kind of print base. You can come with a layering or transparency. You can come with uh, cutouts. I mean, there are so many ways to do it. You know, uh, as long as they can understand it. Video may not be the best. Online may not be the best. It can be when it is. Uh, relevant or apt, but there are many ways of doing it. And like, a, like a, sometimes you buy a car car guide. Then okay, you buy OBC they can say you can OBC they repair the car uh, on their own. When the car guide, so they really dismantle the engine part by part and show you this and that, this and that specification and everything. So so but it's understandable anyway. It's enough. You know? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, the reality is okay. Yes, yes. Or uh, AR is also good. Yes, uh, it's easy. AR is also very easy to do. It's just a tagging, you know, can do. Yeah. Like I said, there's a lot of ways to do it, you know. A lot of ways. Simple, simple ways. You don't have to be high, high and high tech all the time. Okay, so I think the technology you need, I think, I think from the answers that I, I can get, I think there's enough knowledge between you all in terms of AI. I, I, I wouldn't talk about AI yet. Like artificial intelligence is not really necessary here, unless you're talking about big, massive jobs or the kind. Of, and for teaching purposes, I think uh, even augmented reality is is good enough. Um, maybe some, uh, yeah, yeah, AI and uh, the Google, 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 uh, Google, no. virtual reality to some extent can work. But I'm not. I'm not too hot on the technology. I'm more on the pedagogy because the technology will enhance the pedagogy where necessary. Where necessary it doesn't mean you have to. Uh, when people say, "Go, oh, everything online," no, 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 not everything online. No, online has its yes, its everything has its function. Like I always use the the golf bag principle. No, in the you are hitting a golf ball, one ball. But why are there ten tools in the box in the in the bag? Because every tool has a function, sandwich, ada ni putter, ada driver, ada. So you know you don't use one tool for everything. 
So where necessary, use the appropriate tool. You know, virtual reality. If you go say fine, uh, augmented reality. If you use that, fine. You know, if it doesn't, don't worry. There, 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 are, there are so many ways to do it. You know, sometimes it's just a simple audio, audio podcast. Sometimes just simple video file. That, that's that's fine. You know, what whatever works for your course. Yeah. Sekolah kita habis saja kan. I can go on forever. <laughs> uh, Keep it simple, keep it simple. It's not so difficult, uh, I, you know, it's, it's very, very, uh, very, very, very exciting, I realize. <laughs> tapi, tapi work as a group, lah. I think you can, uh, yeah, I think you, you all have a lot of, lot of, lot of good thoughts to share, you know, just, just come up with a good plan for UMS and all that, you know? sharing knowledge. I'm sure some of you have enough knowledge of this high tech, some, some, some people crazy with software, some people crazy with <laughs> other like also crazy people in the lecture of the group. So share, share lah. Okay. I mean, are, okay, you, prof. are you crazy in a good way lah, not crazy in a gila way lah. <laughs> That's my, my language, you know. Okay. Okay, Prof. Thank you for the sharing. Actually, even though it's three hours, but it's very engaging because you're providing. <laughs> yes. Well, <laughs> if it's a lecture, maybe if 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 it's my lecture, my student will already only op, just 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 off the video and just hear me babbling all the way. But yours is very engaging because you are providing and real examples on how to deal with all this ODL. And then actually, to wrap it up. And to wrap it up, actually, um, there are many talking points, actually, in terms of adopting to ODL. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they, there's no one size fits all. So it depends on the lecturer on how to curate the courses. Yeah. And with the flight me to the moon, huh? in changing <laughs> the mindset, yeah, yeah, changing the mindset to out campus, yeah. and then yeah. the fast food metaphor, and then it's already lunch hour, and we... <laughs> But what what we we could take is we have to plan earlier when we ha want to adopt ODL. Have, have a lot of discussion. Nothing wrong. Yes. Yeah. 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 And then yeah. And then with the immediacy of loss, there's a lot of yeah room, creative ways for teaching and learning, yeah. Yeah. especially yeah. in terms of student-centered learning, where maybe we can ask the student learn by doing, and we ask yeah. them, we give the autonomy to them yeah. by asking. How do you want to be to learn best in this course? Yes. They can so, make some suggestions, huh? Yes, bro. So mm. maybe what we can um, thank you very much. A big applaud to you for sharing all the valuables. And <laughs> we end this session today by this quote from Dewey. Uh -huh. If we teach today's student as we taught yesterday's, yeah. them off. <laughs>